want you to come up here right now and show your skills. still leaving people behind. I think um, after I stopped feeling responsible for everybody in the whole world, you know, and I started just being, okay, I'm just going to be me and you can be you and you do your thing, I'll do mine. I had a great deal of acceptance for people, but I also accepted my decisions to get the heck away from people who were on my nerves or who were trying to hurt me and stuff like that. I've always been your baby, don't make a girl go crazy, I don't understand why you left me. My friends and I, my, my crew, we used to find like abandoned uh, houses and we'd go there and fix it up and one of them would be a wizard at starting a, a fire or getting some kind of heaters in. Someone else, I, I usually would cook for everyone, that kind of a thing. So <laughs> before that, you know, it's been a family. I've had bitter experiences basically on the street, even though it's hard, it hurts in some ways. But emotionally, my experiences on the street have been a lot better than my experiences at home. You don't care about my kid and all that stuff. With my child support payments, I haven't seen you in weeks. And my best friend, with my own best friend, how could you do that? It's like a Springer episode, I'm telling you. Baby, I seen you with that other baby. I just finished having your baby. Why'd you have to go? Go and leave me. How to define street culture would be that people who are on the street all the time have to be doing it. It's not something so much for middle class kids, even though they may model that behavior. I guess it's flattering. I'm, I'm glad you think it's so cool to be rebellious, but if you want to like freeze your ass off sleeping in a garage all winter long, I think you're going to run back to mummies if things aren't serious at home. So, and that's smart. I mean, who wouldn't? If you have some place to go, you'd go there. If you don't, you don't. So it's, I can't really judge people for being interested and for empathizing with, with street culture. And, and I think there's room for everybody in the parties and, and, and again in the graffiti and in the artwork and records and music. There's room for everybody because it takes all kinds. But you just got to give respect to the people who are actually living the life. What we gonna do now? Well, I'm really proud of people who stay alive because we've lost, I don't know, if you've lost people, but people have been dying. So it's, I'm proud that we're staying alive. I'm proud that, um, that we can still be in contact with our creative selves, that we can have friendships and love. What about, what about, what about? Street art, we're all here. We all come from different backgrounds, but we're all here in one place. Let us love one another because obviously, if we were getting the love we should have been getting or that we thought we were getting at home, we wouldn't be here. 
whether it's a love of art, whether it's emotional love, whether it's family, love.